this copy is way too big for normal. Why are they climbing? What happened here? <laughs> this looks like he's being punched. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jane. I'm a flying instructor in Australia. Today, we are going to watch one of the most iconic, iconic TV drama in Hong Kong history. It is about aviation. Obviously, this channel is all about aviation. Every Sunday, I will post an information video. And every Wednesday or Thursday, I will post a TV or movie related to aviation commentary videos. Make this channel a little bit more fun. So today, we're going to watch Crime in the Skies, episode 1. This drama is the top gun for Hong Kong people. Inspire a lot of people to become a pilot. Not going to lie, I'm one of them. So today we're going to watch it and just have all the feelings go back to my memories. This drama is back in 2003, 17 years ago. So we'll see how well it holds up. Oh wow, this is the most iconic song for that century. Really iconic song. The CGI is so bad! That is so bad CGI. Oh wow, that is Cathay Pacific. I've been here before for my interview and I fell. <laughs> I failed the interview for Cathay Pacific. It's a story, but it's not a real long story. But if you're interested, comment below and tell me. Three months later. Australia! Adelaide. Funny is that I've never been to Adelaide before. Like, I have been to Sydney, Perth, Melbourne, Brisbane, Gold Coast. So South Australia is the only state that I've never been to. Ooh, it's flying scene. Okay, let's have a look at what's happening. Want to go for a drink after work? Sure. This copy is so weird. <laughs> that is so big. This okay, copy is weird. way too big for normal. Going on the day. Hey. So, do you believe him? Naturally, it's not up to me to believe him or not. And oh my god, that English. Hey, 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 I just need more choice. It doesn't mean dead. I'm not serious. I really love at them about their English because I still have accent, my English is not perfect. As you may or may not know, I'm born and raised in Hong Kong, so I still have accent but I've been in Australia for more than 8 years now. So that's the thing, when you come to Australia, want to learn flying as a student pilot and eventually become a pilot, want to look for a job or whatever, you will learn English as long as you're confident, as long as you're willing to learn, you're willing to talk to people and you'll be fine, eventually you'll learn. It took me a few years to up to this current level. I'm still learning for my English. When you become a pilot, what they are talking about is aviation English, is not daily English. Interestingly, a lot of my student who is native in English, they struggle to talk on the radio, even though they, they understand English perfectly in daily life. But when it's come to radio, we talk aviation English then they just don't understand. So basically what I'm trying to say is even though an Australian student, they are starting from scratch as well for aviation English. They need to learn it. So same thing apply to you. It's not a big deal. So make sure you be confident, make more friends who speak English. As long as everyone understands you, you'll be fine. Uh, I remember her character. I didn't really like her. I don't like a lot of the female character except the character I love, which is one of the pilot. She doesn't want to talk to you. Stop talking. Like, she just like, I don't care. <laughs> Stop talking to me! Oh, like, you can see. Stop talking to her, mate. She doesn't want to talk to you. Stop talking. Ooh, there's a big storm. Can you recheck the air pressure? We checked the air pressure. What does that mean? Oh my god, so annoying. Shut up. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> shut up! It's funny that with all the turbulence and the seatbelt sign is on as well, like, Supposedly, the cabin crew should be seated as well. Like, if what they say, the thunderstorm is very severe, there's very severe turbulence to associate with it, the cabin crew 
could not be out of their seat, and basically sacrifice their life as well. <laughs> this is so nonsense, but well, it's TV drama. <laughs> Romance. To be honest, I don't like them together. It's going to be some feminist due to the thunderstorm. Is that true, true that when you are flying in turbulence, you should increase your approach airspeed by 5 to 10 knots? To me, it's a little bit interesting is for an airline, I'm sure they will have some sort of scaling they should aim for. It's not like 5 to 10 knots. So is that 5 or is that 10? Yeah, just interesting to me. That's actually good when he's talking about flap setting. So when you are flying in turbulence, you want to use less flaps. Again, I don't know what aircraft they're flying. So for example, for the aircraft that I usually fly, Cessna 172, 182, Piper Cherokee, some sort of training aircraft, we have at least two or three stages of flaps. In really normal situation, for example, a calm wind situation, you're just doing a normal approach. You're expected to use all the flap for your landing configuration. However, when it's really windy situation or bumpy situation you may need to consider using less flap for your approach so basically what flaps does during the approach is to increase lift and also it will increase drag which will slow you down with the aircraft so when the aircraft slow down the control responsiveness will actually reduce when it's really windy situation you actually need more control input to try to maneuver the aircraft so that is why that when you're in bumpy situation you want to have less flap meaning that less drag then you have more speed then you will have more control responsiveness so you can actually maneuver a little bit better to try to fight the turbulence to try to land the plane. Flying heading 050, descend 3000 feet. Call the step. Okay, so let's have a look of the instruments here. This is the speed. That is what they are flying. So 8,940 feet. But it looks like the plane is climbing. And with the attitude indicator, it's really high up. 35 degree up. So I don't know what is happening. <laughs> Look at that, like they're climbing. Why are they climbing? So now it's 9,140 feet and 200. Okay, so when you're in a climbing situation, logically the speed will be reduced and you can see the attitude is increasing from previously is 35 degree up. Now it's 37 and a half and it's climbing from 8,000 something to 9,000 something, which I don't understand why they're climbing. Okay, turbulence. Why is the cabin crew still serving? They should be seated, they should protect themselves. Everyone should be seated, should be on their seat belts because they're descending now. So I don't know what they're doing. Okay, so now back to 8,280 feet and 300 knots. The attitude is still pretty high up. Again, because it's a jet, so normally they're landing with a higher nose attitude compared to a normal trainer aircraft like a Cessna 172 or a Piper Cherokee. They're actually landing with the nose down. So interestingly, I've seen airline pilot like they want to do a renewal because they just want to hire aircraft by themselves to do some private flying. So when I do a check with them, they will try to land the plane nose up and it will stall the plane if you keep doing that. So it's like keep the nose down. So yeah, that's interesting. Again, I, I don't know much about jet flying, so it can be right with the high nose up, but we'll see. Increasing power. Okay. <laughs> if you look at here, that is another altimeter. So this altimeter is actually telling me now is 1,400 feet. It just, what? I don't understand. Okay, I just, what? <laughs> so, I don't know what's going on. Oh, hello, Hong Kong. Okay, so... 
<laughs> Here, QX setting is 1013. And previously, if you look at it, let me see if I can find. Okay, if you look at here, it's actually setting 1015. So now 100 feet descending, increasing power. Don't understand why? And why are they so off from the center line? I will assume this is the one way here. And they just break out of cloud for a jet. They're really close to one way there. They just pass 900 feet, which is considered to be really critical on the descent and approach and landing. This will be considered to be unstable approach unless that is part of the procedure, but I highly doubt that. Because a lot of international airlines will choose to do iOS approach, instrument landing system approach, which will line you up for a really strict line by 5 to 10 nautical miles straight line all the way down to the one way landing threshold. It's really rare to have like more than 30 degree here for your approach. That's weird. <laughs> oh god, that is so fake. Uh, this is considered to be high intensity approach lighting. Okay, look at this. This is the QH they should set. So it's set to 1012. Previously, another altimeter is set to 1013. Before that, it's 1015. So come on. So dramatic. Like, why do you need to clap for a landing? It's normal. This is actually really good, like you should always respect your uniform because that is part of your job and it shows professionalism. This guy is actually a pilot, so he's not just an actor, he is actually able to fly. That's not his mom! <laughs> just a girl! To be honest, I really don't like the romance in this drama. Basically, it's just so boring. Or it can be because I will watch this show so many times and the more I watch it, this kind of scene, I will just skip through it. And to be honest, I don't like Isabella. She always talk about the faith, the love, and just... I'm not about that. <laughs> it's just so boring. Oh, iconic scene like running through all the birds. <laughs> like, why? One thing I do agree is that they have a lot of chemistry on screen. Like, you will want them to be together, obviously. When it's my really first time watching this, like, I'm just, why are they not together? Something like that. <laughs> you will know why later. Oh, I said, hello. I sort of love or hate this character. I just. Is man, it's so funny they just randomly grab a person from the street instead of asking the waiter to do it. And I'm not sure how big is Italy, like, how come they run into each other all the time? And this is so random, like, they ask them, yeah, let's sit together. And what is this game? <laughs> and, and without the music, it's so weird. Look at Look at Sam, like what happened here? <laughs> it looks like he's being punched like he's being punched by Bella. <laughs> or it looks like he's about to you know. Why is she dropping her bracelet again? Why? <laughs> like, is her hand like really small or something? Or why? The iconic scene is coming. The icon oh this iconic music as well. Look at this! Oh, this is the most iconic scene. Like he ran back down, and with this music, oh fuck! So that is the very first episode for Triumph in the Sky, Chongsu Wan Siu. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I truly enjoy it. Like bring up so many memories from my childhood like back in 2003 i don't even know how old was i i have no idea if you like this video please make sure you press the like button make sure you subscribe and put on notification so you don't miss any future content i will see you in the next video bye <laughs>